facilitate the uh, clinical description of uh, abdominal organs and swellings within the abdominal cavity, it is conventional in clinical practice to divide the abdominal cavity into nine different regions by means of arbitrary lines. So you need two vertical lines and two horizontal lines to break up the abdominal cavity into nine regions. The two vertical lines are plotted at the mid-clavicular level and traced inferiorly these cross the mid-inguinal points. The mid-inguinal point is a point halfway between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic symphysis. So that's the two vertical lines done. The two transverse lines are the transpyloric line or the transpyloric plane which is plotted halfway between the sternal notch and the pubic symphysis. The other transverse line is called the transtubercular line and that is plotted at the level of the tubercles of the two iliac crests. Thus we have nine regions from drawing these two vertical lines and these two transverse lines. So let's name these nine regions. In the center, from top to bottom, are the epigastrium, then the umbilical region, and finally the hypogastric or suprapubic region. So that's the three regions in the middle from top to bottom. And on either side, the three regions from top to bottom are the hypochondrium, thus you have right and left hypochondrial regions, the lumbar region, thus you have right and left lumbar regions, and finally the right and left iliac fossae or the iliac regions. So there you have it, nine regions that the abdominal cavity can be divided into.